Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have an Anastasia brow, dip brow pomade review for you. So I just recently purchased this product uh, less than a month ago. And when I bought it, I originally had bought the color taupe. And after I wore it a couple times, I noticed that it looked a little like ashy and the color was just kind of off. It was really strange. So I went to the Sephora website and saw that they had the color blonde, which is probably what I should have gotten from the very beginning, but I didn't. So today I wanted to do a combination of a couple of things for you. I wanted to do a review slash demo slash comparison. So if anybody out there is like me, you have like a blondish, dirty blonde, highlighted hair color, and you're kind of torn between which one of these you should buy. So I thought it would be helpful to do one color on this eyebrow and another color on this eyebrow so you can see the difference between the two. So this is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. This is a newer product, but basically what it is, is it's like a pomade or like a colored wax for your eyebrows. So this is kind of like your one-stop shop to get your entire eyebrow products done in one swoop. So a lot of people will use a powder and then a gel or a wax to kind of set it, but this is all in one. So overall, I really do like the product. It took me a long time to figure out how to apply it. I'm still actually learning how to apply it. I am by no means an expert. The purpose of this video is not to show you the proper way of how to use it. If anything, please tell me what I'm doing wrong so I can do it better next time. Um, but the main purpose of this video really is to show you the difference between the two colors. So the first one that I purchased was taupe. So this one, when you look at it in the pan, it is very like light colored. It looks lighter than the blonde one, um, but it has like a grayish kind of like cast to it. So I'm going to swatch it for you. There you go. So this product really is not meant for swatching purposes, um, but whatever. <laughs> so there's what that looks like. So you can kind of see that it has like an ashy kind of cast to it. Um, but you can get away with it. It still works. It just, it, it has a little cast to it. So if you have like um, gray in your hair or if you naturally have like a kind of an undertone, like grayish ashy undertone to your hair or if you're a natural blonde, like that bright, almost white natural blonde, then this is probably the color that you'll want to go with just because it's a little bit more <clears throat> kind of natural. And then they have the color blonde. So let me just show you how similar they look together. So here's what the two look together. Here's the taupe and this is the blonde. So you can see the taupe just has kind of like a grayish, I guess, taupey undertone. And then the blonde is more like yellowish, uh, orangish blonde undertone. So this one, I'll swatch right next to it for ya. So here is what that one looks like. You can see this one has the grayish undertone and that one has more of a blondish, kind of yellowish, orangish undertone. I will say if you have a hair color similar to mine, you probably could get away with either of these. And in fact, I'll let you make the determination of which one you think looks better. But I'm going to apply both of these with the Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12 um, brush. So half of it is a spoolie brush to comb through your brows and then the other half is the angled application. So again, I am no expert at this by any means. If you can give me tips on how to make this better, please let me know. But what I do is I just take it and I just barely dab it in the product. You do not need much of the product at all. So I'm just going to dab a little bit in there getting just a tiny, tiny bit, you can see there, and I just kind of brush it on my other hand to get excess product off. And then what I do is I outline my brow first, and then I color it in. Oh, but first I need to brush through it with this spoolie brush. <laughs> okay, brush through it, make sure all the hairs are going the right way, and then I'm gonna start by outlining it 
and then coloring it in. So my eyebrows are naturally super light. You can tell the difference. So leaving it like this is just way too harsh. So I brush through it quite a bit with that spoolie side just to lighten up the color. Um, if I were to leave it like that, I would look totally ridiculous. <laughs> you can really see the color there. So it looks fine. I mean, if you compare it to my hair up here. So here's the eyebrow, here's the hair. It doesn't look bad by any means. It just looks a little, I don't know, kind of off to me. Okay, so there is the finished blonde brow. So again, this is taupe and this is blonde. I know the eyebrows are probably not even. I am so bad at eyebrows, like it's not even funny. <laughs> so you can probably just barely tell the difference. Uh, let me see, that's as far as I can zoom in. Um, you can probably just barely tell the difference. Let me get a little bit closer up here. There we go. So here again is the taupe color, and then here is the blonde color. So it is so incredibly hard to tell the difference, and I'm not even sure if you can really tell so much in um, on the camera, but this one has that ashy, almost like a little bit darker color to it, and then this one has the more kind of goldeny blonde undertone to it. So I don't know if this helps you out at all. I think, again, you could probably get away with either if you have the same color hair as I do. Um, but I personally think this one, the blonde one, looks just a tiny bit better. Okay, so here we are, kind of zoomed back a little bit more. So this one I think I filled in better, <laughs> probably because I'm left-handed and it's like closer to my hand. But I definitely feel like the color on this one looks better. Alright guys, well that is all that I have for you today. I hope that this video was informative. Um, I wasn't planning on making this video, but I figured if I had something like this before I bought the taupe, I probably would have saved my money and just bought the blonde to begin with. So if you are anything like me, or if you have the same color hair as me, or anything like that, you might be kind of toggling between the two, deciding which one you want more. Um, so I hope that this video helped just a little bit, if at all. If you guys have any tips or tricks or tutorials on how to apply this, any way for me to put it on a little bit better, please let me know. Um, leave a link or a suggestion in the comment section down below. I would love that. Um, if you have any comments or anything like that, again, leave that in the comment section down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.